Hi, Ray here. I'm glad you could join me. Now this video has had a long gestation period, nine months actually, since I bought this 1979-ish, 1980-ish Nikon FM2 film camera. And I promised in the original review that I was going to go out and do a shoot and show you what uh, this baby could do. I think that's what I said. And so here I am, finally. This is not the first roll of film that I've put through the camera. And here we have a roll of Kodak Ektar 100. We've got a sunny day, so it should be good. Uh, I did put a preliminary test roll through here and got a couple of shots. But if I'm going to make an excuse, COVID got in the way. And so it's been kind of hard to get out and mingle. So today what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a trip to the city and see what we can find around the city and run this roll of film through the camera. Okay, so let's get this uh, roll of film in the camera. We'll open up our roll of Ektar 100. There we go. And, and incidentally, we can take this little thing here and we can stick it in the back. Sometimes these fit, sometimes... Okay, so now we know what film uh, we have in the camera. So, let's open up the back of the camera. All ready to roll. And um, pull our film out. We pull that up. Sit our film in. And now this is the uptake spool here. And it has a number of uh, uh, shutter release. It has a number of slots here. We slot the film into one of those, uh, feed the film into one of those slots. Let's get it in there. And it goes underneath, as I recall. Shutter release. Let's take it up. Make sure everything is nicely lined up there. Okay, now we can close up the camera. And here we're at S. There's a little S there. Now we can advance the film until we get to our first our first frame of the film and we're ready to go. Finally we make sure that we've got our ASA uh, set to the correct ASA for this film which is 100 and in fact I do. Yep, there's the... Uh, you simply lift that up and set your proper ASA right there. So, we're ready to go. Let's go do it. Here I am, as usual, Ray, mad dogs and Englishmen, out in the midday sun. Actually, it's two o'clock. And let's, uh, let's see if the sundial is accurate. Oh, I think it's off by an hour. <laughs> My visit to the capital city coincided with a rally at the British Columbia Parliament in support of ancient forest protectors at Ferry Creek on the southwest coast of Vancouver Island and the celebration of the one-year anniversary of the blockade there. The rally was attended by many indigenous leaders, chiefs, elders, and matriarchs, as well as environmentalists and scientists. The gathering also coincided with the destruction of the protest headquarters at Ferry Creek, with the police taking advantage of leaders' attendance here to move in the bulldozers and clear the camp, as I documented in my last video. So this turned out to be something of a historic occasion, if you will, all watched over by the police. So all we need to do now is uh, remove the film. We can take it in and be developed. So there's a release button there. We can rewind the film till we feel it release. Open the back. And there's our film ready to go. Okay, all we have to do now is get this uh, film developed. So we'll head off to the local drugstore. Right. Okay, so I need to develop that. Uh, just develop. Uh, okay, just develop so the film. Develop only no, no print, no upload or anything? No, just. Uh, just put it in a sleeve and okay. we're good to go. Do you go. want them cut or uncut? Um, I'll cut them myself okay, through so my scanner. And then it's just a 
matter of me taking them home and scanning them. And I'll put a link here to show you my scanning workflow. on working with this fully manual Nikon FM film camera. And it is fully manual. There's a couple of uh, small batteries in there, uh, but they just run the light meter, that's all. So fully manual. And uh, it's hard. <laughs> uh, coming back uh, from many years of being used to autofocus, yeah, it's really hard, and you do miss shots. And yes, it is a more contemplative approach to photography, if you will. But in dynamic situations, like we were in there in town, um, focusing quickly and um, getting the shot, well, yeah, sometimes you miss the shot. <laughs> it's definitely not like uh, having autofocus and tracking and eye autofocus. Although I probably wouldn't have used eye autofocus in that dynamic situation. I would prefer single point. And at the end of the day, I, I really got the shot that I was looking for uh, when I arrived at that demonstration. And that is the last one there with uh, Rose Henry leading the rally to the Parliament buildings in Victoria. I'm, I'm very happy with that shot and a, and a couple of other shots of the dancers as well. Um, when it comes to focusing, I'm, I'm, I'm becoming reacquainted. Many times you want to actually choose your focus, as I did uh, when I talked about one of my most successful street photographs. I'll, I'll put a link to it um, up here. And that is to anticipate where your focus is going to be. So in that situation where I had that crowd moving towards me, I was backing up. I, I chose a focus point, said, okay, when they get to there, and that's when I nailed the shot. And, of course, that's, <laughs> you have to, the camera is not doing the thinking for you. So, you know, it's really still good practice. And I'll, I'll pick this up every once in a while and go out and shoot another roll of film. In fact, I've loaded up another roll of the Ektar 100. So, if you found this uh, video interesting or useful, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. And, well, we'll see you again. Take care. Cheers.